In September 2016, the United Nations Secretary General's High Level Commission on Health, Employment and Economic Growth released its report, Working for Health and Growth, Investing in the Health Workforce. This lays out a compelling investment case for the health workforce, including investing in transformative education. It calls on us to maximize women's economic participation and foster their empowerment through institutionalizing their leadership, addressing gender biases and inequities in education and the health labor market. Akwai yaran da suke gama makaranta ya kamata a dibi yaran mata a wannan locality a training din su a dawo da su cikin locality din su su yi aiki saboda yawancin aka yi posting mata zuwa kauye mazajen su ba su bari su tafi to mazajen su ba su bari sun tafi ba kin gani wuri ya riga ya zama vacuum amma in kina community din kika yi aure a community din kika yi training aka kawo kimijin kina community kin ga aiki zai ci gaba yana da amfani domin wannan abun ma ya taba faruwa a family din mu na nemo ma yarinya school of middle free ta fara wan uban ta zo ya cire ta amma na tsaya na tsaya yanzu yarinyan ita ce yanzu babba ma a cikin aikin asibiti kuma tana taimakon yan uwa yanzu suka san cewa dadi domin da suka ce wai karuwa ne suke aikin asibiti to na nuna musu ce ba karuwa ba matan aure ma suna yi sannan kuma ma'aikatan lafiya taimako suke yi the Women for Health Programs initiatives are strategic and innovative, low-tech, value-for-money solutions that meet these recommendations and offer Nigeria an alternative to high rates of maternal and child mortality. By scaling up these initiatives for other schools and states, we can create decent health sector jobs, particularly for women and youth, with the right skills, in the right numbers, and in the right places to help our mothers, wives, sisters, sons and daughters to survive childbirth. The states of Kanu, Jigawa, Yobe, Zamfara and Katsina are at a pivotal moment in shaping the future of human resources for health. If we can work in these states with critical shortages of female health workers, then these initiatives can be expanded and work anywhere in northern Nigeria.